down in Eastbourne. Just recorded two good, what I feel good videos to help people with their mental fitness. And I have keep on myself. I know that sometimes in life I struggle with different things like we always do. But at the end of the day, every day now I feel stronger and stronger because I wake up and I look out there and I think to myself, there is only two paths in life. At the moment for me, follow what God is doing to work through me or choose a different path which is uh, not a good one. So I'm going to be happy, I'm going to smile, I'm going to be grateful as I watch these seagulls and dog walkers, you know, having a little bit of sense of calmness in my life is important. Having hope is even better because at the end of the day, we all suffer from different things and more often than not, we need to appreciate the peace that we can get, small moments like right now, to understand that sometimes in life, we've just got to keep pushing forward. We've got to relax, we've got to be calm. Some of you will go out and do your meditation. You know, sitting there and breathing is really good. I feel the fresh air going inside my lungs. As I look up on Eastbourne Pier, old and I get sad inside when things get destroyed that are old and I think it's a shame and when we look upon our lives I think sometimes as we get older things change we change in our body we change with our mind but I think we've got a responsibility to look up look up hope have hope because life is worth learning more about not to be happy every second of the day because that's just impossible but if we rationalise that we know that not every day is going to be perfect and if we keep pushing forward to know not in a hasty way we take rest, we sit down, we relax, and we know when to speed up. Speed up for learning, speed up to help others. That's the joy of life, when you serve and help others. When you become, you know, a servant leader, as I like to be described, it's beautiful, that's all I can say. We've got some birds winging up past, I think they're starlings, and Somewhere in the Bible, I, I can't remember what verse it is, but it does say, you know, rather than buy the most expensive clothes, uh, there's probably lots of stories around that. Look at the birds, look at the sky, look at God, what God created. And even if you don't believe, you know, we're, we, we, sometimes we're in so much of a rush that we don't really recognise the beautiness. I mean, it's grey out, it's a little bit breezy but I'm loving every second every second of sitting here talking to you because I'm grateful of my surroundings and when you're grateful more it gives you a sense of more fulfillment and happiness and my life's not perfect nobody is because we're not meant to have a perfect life you know and that's power on its own so for anybody suffering anxiety, stress, depression, and you want to take the easy way out, don't. Have hope. Have hope because I'm only saying these words to you, but I'm hoping you feel enlisted and empowered because I've been through some really dark times. I suffered as a child. But I'm here with you now. So I'm hoping that's going to give you some wisdom and inspiration. And now you've got to go about your day and set off and do something amazing. 
well, I say amazing, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever your day plan is, you know, um, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this moment with the beach and the sea. And, um, yeah, I just feel blessed. <laughs>